And we're back. So I had a bit of a break, went and had dinner, and I guess I'm just going to figure out how to get this treasure still. And we've got another sarcophagus which may or may not align. What view can we get? Oh, there's the bon- Ah! Oh! There's a bonfire! If that's THE bonfire, then that means this is the- and the treasure- Ah! Oh, the treasure! No! Ah! Oh. Yes! 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 Done! Done, done, done. Done, diddly on. Cool. So now we can go back to... Oh, hey, that's where... Thingo's disappeared. Where'd he go? Hmm. Back at the Firelink Shrine, maybe? And let's have a quick look around. I know I did this before, but... I want to do it again. Well, I guess we have little choice but to give up on that particular quest. Not even sure what to do down here. I think I'll have to go and buy a cursing uh, hand or whatever that is to let me beat up the dead. Hey, hang on. Is that a sorcery emblem? I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. I'm a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass my flame like that. Oh, really? I'll give him you the ember. I will forge a Rickett masterpiece just for you. Rickett. A to make a legend out of me. Heck yeah. Okay, a couple of things, I guess. Um, it's not really much I can do around here unless someone's going to appear or something's going to happen. No. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I go to a uh, lady in the tunnel who sells, I think she sells the gloves, things. I just want to check out here. Ah, oh, there, there he is. Oh, we meet again. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I, at a special price for you. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Um, my eyes are up here. I will put this sword through your head if you don't look up at me. Oh, what an uncomfortable situation. This is. He's looking right. Ah, oh, dude, no. Oh no, that's not even. Oh my god, he's turned. Ah, oh, there's there's no way this can be a. This can be a good. Yeah, look, I just. Ah, oh. I'll just stand over here. It'll be slightly less creepy having that personal space. So let's talk for a bit. Here, have you met that backwood Shiva? Believe me on this one, my love. The man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. <laughs> no doubt about it. Watch him. Backwoods Shiva. Just writing it down because I don't recall anything of the sort. Let's find Here, out more. Have you met that sunbathing Celeste? Believe me on this one, my love. He's a complete idiot. <gasps> but he happens to be an awfully strong idiot. So just nod your head and keep him on your side. <laughs> How dare you! How dare you! I'm tempted to hit you right now, but instead of doing that because I'm still scared and guilty about that, I'm just going to put my sword through your head and feel a bit better about that. How's that? Oh, not quite. I managed to do it before. Why can't I do it now? Oh. Oh, that'll do. The threat's enough. Wait, have you met Petrus? That self-proclaimed cleric? Believe me on this one, my love. The man is scum. Don't you be fooled by his claims to do good. They're all the same, though. 
Okay, I think he just says Boy, that about everyone. You. Believe me on this one, my love. He wouldn't think twice about cutting, so watch out for him. Okay, I think he's just gonna tell me to watch out for everybody. I'm done with the looting and one Okay, so that's that's the talking, I suppose. Let's learn a gesture. Prostration. Woohoo! And what do you have? Let's see. Eye of death, divine blessing. Twenty thousand souls. Wow. And I wasted that instead of an Estus flask. Oh gosh. Okay, prism stones, human. I can buy humanity. Neat. All right. Got heal. Restores HP. Uses five. So basically, five extra Estus flasks. And one use for high HP. Okay. In terms of weaponry, we have four new things. We have a crescent axe. All of these, well, not all of them. We've got a crescent axe, a well used old bronze battle axe with a long hilt and a crescent shaped blade. One of the blessed weapons of the Way of White. The Crescent Axe is bequeathed to the Cleric Warriors who have proven their faith. A mace, which I already have. And two talismans for casting miracles of the gods, which are of no interest to me. Canvas tal talisman is for clerics on pilgrimage. Um, cast miracles, attune miracles from a scroll at a bonfire. And the Thoralyn talisman is a medium for casting miracles of the gods. This talisman is only granted to high-ranking Thoralyn clerics. Has divine miracle adjustment, which, thanks to divine protection, is not dependent on faith. Nice. Whoa! Whoa, that was a bit scary. So we have... Ooh. So, several new things. We already have the mask of the mother and the mask of the child, but we haven't had the mask of the father. And this one slightly raises equipment load. Not a terrible mask to have, but I'm not sure it's worth my while. Other than that, we just have cleric stuff. Four items. The description's all the same. Helm worn by the warrior clerics of the Way of White, who are famous for being unyielding in battle. Rather substantial in size and weight, making its wearer look even bigger than he or she actually is. And that's it. What? Nothing appeals to you? <laughs> you must have poor taste. Well, you don't like Solaire, so frankly, I don't care what you think. Yes. Definitely want a transient curse. Oh, hey, the humanity's cheaper here. <laughs> the other guy was selling it for 10,000. So we'll grab the transient curse. Let's grab three of them. Let's use a transient curse. Right, this should let me engage with the ghosts. If you hear rumbling in the background, that's a storm that's just started at the same time. It's completely not related to do with the fact that I'm about to go into this very creepy place. Creepy, creepy, creepy place. I guess I should start my map as well, but... Okay, what's your deal? Alright, I die straight away. So far, easy peasy. I've picked up a jagged ghost blade. Okay. I'm going to start my mapping right from the outset. So I'll keep to the left. Just make note of different points. Okay, so options are steps. Okay, steps is an obvious direction. So we've got stairs. We 
have this side. And whatever this is. Nope. Okay, I thought it was cool that I could get up here, but I guess... Oh boy. Okay, so I want to... You're free! Yeah! Oh, sweet! That works for me. And I don't think I can walk on that bit. Let's just assume I can't. We'll stick to the edge. See if there's anywhere else I can go. Looks like death as well. But this side looks like possible treasure. Just as I expected. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, let's stick to safety. The third one. If you could come closer, that would be super sweet. There we go. Oh, still alive, right. This is tricky. Okay. Just looking around for any other enemies because I don't want to be knocked off of this edge. Okay, I guess I'll continue. Ooh, Firekeeper Soul! That's a pretty good treasure to have. That's about it as far as I can see, so let's head back. Stairs, 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 water up the stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. So this was the place I tried to climb up before. Don't know why it's there, but... Why is that there? You can roll up halfway, but not the full way. Or... Yeah? No? I'm stuck again. Ah, oh, well this was dumb, wasn't it? Up the stairs, avoiding the tricky gravel. hey -ya! Oh, come! Oh no. You're a divine or something. Uh oh. Oh, has my transient curse run out? Oh dear. Well, let's let's give that a try. Uh huh. Crap. This means I'm gonna have to go through this quickly. Well. Better go through and beat them all while I still can, so let's not waste too much time. There's a treasure over there, that would be neat, but oh, I want to go down there, but I can't because... Oh. Okay. Fight evil now, ghosts later. Sorry, fight ghosts now. Oh boy. Jagged Ghost Blade, which, you know, I should probably have a look at that. And more transient curses. Neat. If I die, I'll look at the blade. But right now I'm just going to use the transient curses to deal with ghosts. And when I know that they're all gone...
Don't know why you screamed. Cleansing curse. Sweet. So there's a traverse the white light thing over there. Noted. Oh boy, left or right? I guess I'll go right. Yeah, I saw you there. Seems kind of weird, but sure. Got a parrying dagger. Probably could fall down there, but I won't. Well, let's traverse the white light. Yikes, what was that about? You, you're mean. You gonna come down? No? Fine, stay up there. See if I care. Actually, I'm going to change it so that the transient curse is here instead. And I'm happy with that. So I can quickly check. Moving on. So I'm pretty sure I was over there just before. I've just received a green something. Oh. Right. Let's run out. Just having a look, I'm pretty sure I came through that place. That's right. I was able to jump down there if I wanted to, but I didn't. What would have happened if I'd jumped down? Looks like I would have been sent to my death. And then I came across there and entered through there, came out here. Okay. So got the situation where we go up the stairs and then we have oh, two options really we can go across or downstairs what will I do first? Uh, I guess I'll go across the ladder's more recognisable and we'll use this again. Could jump down there. Oh man. Please let me back up. Okay. If I jump down there, what's the deal? I can go across that way, that way, that way, that way. Joins up with the ladder later, probably. Alright, so maybe I don't need to jump down there. I could, but I won't. Oh. Stairs going this way. That's right, transient curses. We need to do this quick. Guess I'll just wander through. I can always map it all out later, I guess. Oh, I'd have to jump down there. Oh 
So there's a treasure down there. Nah, leave it for now. Keep going. Actually, no! I want this treasure! But how would I get it? I guess it's a jumping type thing, but... Oh boy, this is gonna be my undoing! Yep! Straight to death! Jagged Ghost Blade. That's one of the things we picked up. Ooh! It's a cursed weapon! Jagged Blade wielded by New Londo Ghosts. Violent thrust attack. Hey yeah! One of the cursed weapons inflicts damage to ghosts. Perfect! Um, the dagger is useful after parrying and is normally equipped in the left hand. Hey! A favourite of the Knights of Karim who are famous for fighting without a shield. Okay, let's put this to the test. Well, it works just fine. Nice! Let's deal with you first. Then we'll deal with you. Uh oh. Danger! 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 Oh no! Okay, so now I'm going to make a change. Silver Knight Straight Sword. And employ the transient curse. Back to the Estus flasks, and we are ready to go. And is that a treasure in the in the water? Okay, that does suggest we've got a gleaming door-like thing. I'm sure, that's a reflection of some kind. But let's make an assumption that I will survive and that there's enemies down there. Uh. Eh. Nope. Now this one screams like a banshee. Why? Oh, you're holding a baby! No? Yes, you're holding a baby! You're a slightly different type of scary thing. So we're going to use this lever. Oh, or we're not going to use it. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I can't just fall down. That would be too easy. Let's assume it would be too easy. Wait, let's not assume anything. And I'm dead. So, there is a treasure down there, and there is a chest over there. But I don't know how to get to either of them. If there's a way in, there should be a way out. down here. Huh. Can I walk around the edge? Guess I can. So that didn't do anything. Well that leads back to that beginning area. So I don't know why I would come down here. Anything on this side? Ah. Hello. 
I guess the answer would be yes. Now I'm out here. Oh, I'm being attacked from the wall. Okay. Is there a way for me to kick you back? Nope. And I'm dead. Alright. So they're all down. Moving on. I need to go down or across. So there is treasure or in. And then I can either go down or across. I'm going to go across. What's my next path? Either go there or go in here, which has you. And you. And a transient curse or two. Okay, so just mapping this out, and my transient curse has come to an end. So, out or fireplace. Let's go in the fireplace. So, what's this? Oh, he doesn't look great. Alright, let's do this. Oh! Hello! Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the sea. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. The Abyss? But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. I have the ring. The ring should let me travel the abyss. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. You, Londo, were sacrificed to contain the dark rings. Mark my words, the dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. You Londo, Mark, they were... Okay. So what can I buy? I can buy transient curses. I can buy resist curse. Sorcery of the Red Robed Remedician Ingward, Guardian of the Seal in New Londo. Sacrifice humanity to undo the curse. Um, apparent curses eat away at the core of one's very existence, and cleansing oneself of curses is no easy task indeed. And I will buy some of those. Now, what does this mean? I'm not cursed. 
Oh, he's the guy. He's the healer in your laundry that can. Ah, he's the other option. So I don't need to buy the having cursed broken things. I can just visit him. Ah, he's the guy. The guy. Awesome. I am being attacked from above. Kind of. What's happening here? I can jump out here, I suppose. Where would it take me? I don't know. But let's find out. So where are we now? That's right. I came in, the options were down, or across. Great. I can say on my map that is explored, which means the only way left is down. Ah. Just marking on my map. Let's go out. Aha! Uh -huh. It tricked me! So I can go out and up or down. Let's go down. Uh oh, dropped my pencil. Not good, not good. So down has been explored. Now let's go up. Yoink! More souls! And more options. We can go across, or we can go up. Let's go across. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know what to do. I guess let's put in more options. Let's explore up. Okay, there's a bit of a pad down there. There's a... whatever that is. But there's also a treasure. So I now have a composite bow and a large arrow. Ooh! This looks like the Valley of the Drakes. Oh my gosh, this really does all connect together. This is amazing! So I guess that's a Valley of the Drakes thing. Okay. Ha uh ha! -huh. Huh, I think this might go to the Valley of the Drakes, maybe? Oh gosh, this is too complex. So let's check out the seal. Oh, I don't know what this is doing. Let's push the lever. Connects with down with the Valley of the Drakes. Oh, this is perfect. 
And I guess I can't push it any other way, that's that's it. Alright, so now the gameplay has changed a little. First of all, this may actually move again. Or at the very least I can jump down to it. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, let's explore this. Huh. Huh. Wow. This is creepy. too many more of them about. This is pretty full on. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, well. I don't know what to do. This is... So I've been sent out here. Well, I guess we can check it out. Bloody hell. One thing at a time. Let's check out what is obviously the entry to the Valley of the Drakes. Oh, maybe not. Oh boy, I have regrets. Oh boy, do I have regrets. Oh boy. Oh, let's, let's maybe get out of here. I've upset some people. Does it only go that way? It only goes down. Okay, so the lever takes me down to that area which connects with what I'm assuming... Uh, sorry. Assuming would be the Valley of the Drakes with those dragons that kick my ass. We don't want that. I'm just going to make a note that the lever to Valley of the Drakes is there. That's the thing. And we'll go back up. Now what have we not explored yet? Did we explore over here? Yes we did in part. So let's go back over here. We probably want to activate a transient curse. And keep an eye on it as well. So now we're going to go... Oh. Okay, so we've explored the tower. Now we're going to go up. Ooh, I could jump across there. Alright. Where are the ghosts that are going to jump out at me? It's got to be at least one. Humanity! Yay! No ghosts? Alright. Now, falling would be death. Let's try not to do that. But, if I can jump across, I would be rewarded. That looks doable. Yeah. Hmm. A rare ring of sacrifice. Woohoo! I don't know if I want to fall in there. Anywhere else I want to go? Not that I can see. I'm 
was there another treasure further down that I wanted to maybe try and get to? Perhaps? I thought I saw one. Yeah, that's it. Down there. Oh, what do we think? Hmm. I think we can make this a two-step process. It's maybe from here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm pretty scared. Woohoo! Curse bite ring, I'll have to look at that. But something is attacking me and I don't know what. There we are. Oh, I don't know where they are. There you are. Just the one. Transient curse. So now I've gone in all sorts of directions. I don't know where I am. So I'm going to check out the rest of this before I continue. Oh, jeez. Aha! Right. I do know where I am now. That takes me out here, which brings me to treasure. Which means I can drop down there, probably. Okay, so, so far, still good. So in, and then drop, ah, uh, and up kind of leads me the same way, maybe. Alright, more exploring. I haven't explored around here before. This might be in part due to the fact that the water has receded. Uh-oh. If I see a ghost, I'll need to make sure I resurrect my... Oh, boy. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. I hope I can kill you. Oh, good. Can I parry? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? He's trying to parry. Oh jeez. Not good. Not good. Tried to parry. Not worth it. Now, I'm going to use a transient curse again. Now, where did I come from? I came from... Over here? I don't even know anymore. Let's just stick to the left. Huh. There's another one. Yeah, well that was secret. We're gonna come out here? And he's down. I do not like those ones one bit. You are real. Find a type night chunk for my troubles. No other hidden secret walls. And go back over. So we'll continue on the left hand side. Uh-huh. Yep. Ah, 
Oh crap, I'm so lost. What's this about? Well, there's a treasure over there, so let's grab that. But I really actually have no idea where I came from. Oh, I'm so lost. Oh, what are you? Holy crap. Oh, crud. Not ideal. Two of them. Okay, one's down. Oh boy. Oh boy again. Oh, painful. Let's step back a bit. Can I move a bit faster? Oh boy. Uh-uh. Shit. Oh boy. The fact that I made that was phenomenal. <gasps> now, let's deal with you. Now, what even are you? Ah, exploding thing. I really need to map this place. Night chunk and a place over here. Look, I have to go back and map this. I'm very confused. There's even a treasure over here that I haven't taken yet. Cracked red eye orb. Oh boy, you again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, it's another one of you. What's your deal? Ah, oh, you've made me super slow. Whoa, and there was an explosion thing too. Clever. And there's a explosion-y thing here. Ah, oh, another one of you. Great. Can I parry? No. Parrying was dangerous. Why did I do that? Okay. <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start exploring from this white door. Oh, I can enter through the white light. I guess I could. Yeah, alright, let's have a look at what's through the white light. Oh. 
Enemies! Yay! Okay, so this is... Oh. Right, this is going to be where I explore from. So from this doorway, I'm going to do my map. At least from the ground level. Because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm really lost. I'm just going to stick to the left. I'll explore the other side of the room. Uh oh. You, you're in this room. I don't like you. Huh. <sighs> well, let's keep exploring. Why all these little tiny rooms? Ah, uh, rooms everywhere. Then we'll go down this side. Ah. <sighs> now, are these two separate entryways or do they join up? They're two separate entryways. Okay. So there's one this way and one the other way. Let's go this way. This appears to be exactly the same map as before, but different. We go across or right. Let's go this way. If I'm correct, we should expect a ghost. No? Okay. So, that comes to an end. Let's try going across. Ah, so this is on top of... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. This makes sense. We are on top of the stable. Hmm. And again, we can go up or across. Where does up go? Up takes us up here. Oh, the treasure chest should be here. <gasps> yes! Aha! Very large ember, which means down there was where... Aha! Great. So, oh, wonderful, wonderful. So that's all been dealt with. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good, good, good. So now I can probably drop down there safely. Prism stones. Now, let's see what happens if I use one. Okay, so I could safely jump down, but I'm not going to because my health is starting to become an issue. This way. Aha! Now let's see what lies in the other chamber. A lever! What happens if I pull the lever? Oh, it doesn't move because I'm already here. Where does it take me? 
Aha! To the beginning! So, that is pretty good. Pretty good. And that's probably a good place to pause it since our next step we can either progress through the obvious next step which is through that door or we can keep exploring the map that we've uh, seen which is to our right. So we're going to call it here. Thank you very much for helping me explore the ruins and we shall see you next time on Kylie's blind run of Dark Souls. Bye for now.